Well, tonight was the first home game of the San Diego Wave. The women's soccer team took on the Portland Thorns and Julian Delgadio here now with uh, some of the highlights out there. The Wave finally crashing in San Diego as they host their first ever home match out at Torero Stadium. It was a sold out crowd as they hosted the Portland Thorns in the NWSL Challenge Cup. Abby Dahlkemper on this roster, pretty big name right there. Alex Morgan as well. And speaking of Alex Morgan, what a shot right there. Just past the goal post, no good. Portland showing their thorns early in this one moments later. Beautiful through ball. And Sophia Smith buries it in the back of the net. That's all she wrote. Wave. Ball 1 0. We'll have more from this match coming up in sports. Also, can't forget that it's March Madness. And did you know that one of the coaches in today's games was a USD alum? I'll tell you who that is coming up later on in the show. Jason. All right, Julian, we'll see you there in just a bit. Uh, fans packing Torero Stadium again at USD to watch the wave play. Our Liberty Zabala is there with the reaction uh, from fans after this first home game. Liberty, how was it? Good evening, Jason. Well, it was still an exciting day, even though it was sadly a loss. The San Diego Wave FC played the stadium behind me for the first time in front of a sold out crowd. <laughs> Fans are riding the wave as women's professional soccer comes back to San Diego. This is the first time in 20 years that we've had women's professional soccer back in San Diego. It's a really exciting time. It's the birth of the San Diego Wave FC at Torero Stadium and a little soccer fan's birthday too. Is it your birthday? Yes. How old are you? 11. Madeline Simpson made this sign for her favorite player, Alex Morgan. Because she's a soccer player and I really want to be a professional soccer player when I grow up. These little soccer players were inspired watching world-class players in front of a sold-out crowd. It's phenomenal. I mean, world-class players, obviously Alex Morgan winning multiple World Cups is something special to be this close to just great talent. The Waves battled it out with the Portland Thorns Football Club for the National Women's Soccer League Challenge Cup. These little fans dream one day they can do the same. San Diego is known as kind of the birthplace and the mecca for youth soccer. And now you can see all of these youth players, boys and girls, having someone to look up to at the professional ranks and some of the best players in the world. And I hope that they can continue through the season just being sold out. It's just, it's just a phenomenal, you know, quote unquote wave to keep going through the season. And Torero Stadium here holds 6,000 people, so it was packed for their first game. And if you miss this game, you still have a chance to catch the wave. They will be playing nine more home games here at Torero Stadium for the rest of the season. For now, live here at Torero Stadium, Liberty Zabala, Fox 5 News.